um, just want to welcome you to this video. This is going to be on um, Jupiter and uh, Neptune. There's an opposition coming up around um, the 21st or so of um, September 2019. And um, some of that energy has already been affecting us. So um, let me read something that um, I wrote to you guys. My name is Kim Warner, by the way, and you can subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Um, it's all about educational pur purposes and helping to edify us on our emotional um, body because a lot of people are out of control emotionally um, and they're kind of losing their wits in the energies that are coming into the earth. It's not a negative thing. It's just that we haven't learned how to inhabit and exhibit the energies that are coming. And a, a big portion of that has to do with the fact that we are not actually releasing old energy, old situations, um, um, traumas, hurt, and pain from the past that is deep uh, within us. So um, I woke up one morning and I heard the scripture, forgetting those things that are behind. And... Um, I do write, um, that's part of my Pisces rising and um, my Capricorn in um, uh, the 12th house with Neptune, um, creativity. So anyway, um, let me just read this to you guys and see if you can um, kind of understand and get um, some relief out of it. Okay, and so it says, um, Philippians 3 and 13, brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, um, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead. Uh, Philippians 3 and 14, I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. So um, one of the things that I felt when that scripture came was um, like I had been stuck. Um, forgetting the things that are in the past because our mind takes us back into the past and we'll say that we're changing and we're doing something different but we really hadn't changed or did something different whatever that pertains to in your life and so when the scripture says forgetting those things that are behind that's what it means and then there is an endurance to forget so you press into what is ahead now, when we look at Pisces, um, which is part of the opposition, Pisces has two fish. One fish is going in one direction and one is going in the other, which puts me right in the mind of Christ because Christ represented the fish, but he had to make a decision. So Pisces going in the future direction is the direction that Christ uh, chose. Um, and any um, God figure uh, that we um, actually take on in religion, they went into future positive change. So the Pisces has the ability to go into the past and get stuck or go into the future. And because of that, we could look at that scripture and relate to uh, Neptune's ability to give us illusions and delusions that will keep us stuck. And, and then the fog will clear and we'll see the direction to press forward into the future. All right. So I hope that you get that because a lot of people don't understand how to acclimate the heavenlies with the earthlies. And 
the planets in our sun um, positions, whatever yours is, is our personality. Uh, what we're doing is working out negative aspects of our personalities, strengthening the negative um, in, or strengthening the negative where it's weak into a stronger positive. So that means that if, you know, if you have a habitual um, habit of lying, then you're going to press to stop lying and press to begin to tell the truth. And that would be um, the illusion because you feel that the lie is better than the truth, right? So in Pisces, it's, it's like we have a choice to go in the past or stay in the past or go into the future. And that's why the fish are there, all right? When we look at Jupiter, Jupiter is a planet that brings promise, expansion, and it is optimistic. And that optimism and expansion can make us see things grand. And because we see things grand from that perspective, when you look at Neptune being there, the opposition um, of illusion mixed with expansion can cause something that you're working on or even a relationship to look like it's not in the right perspective. I would say that the best thing in this here time, if you have any Sagittarius energy or Pisces energy, uh, is to kind of like kick back and let things play out rather than getting caught up in the midst of something that could be elusive and not a truth. You might see it as the truth for you because it's telling you that, but it's not the truth because if you're not meditating and you're not seeking truth. And if you're not building and strengthening yourself, the energies from these planets can come in and show you or make, have you feeling something that is not true simply because it's intermingling with old energy. Now for people that are, um, actually meditating and they can see improvements in themselves. They're getting through the energies without having major emotional meltdowns. Then you're in a good place because what it, that is telling you is that you're overcoming weaknesses in different astral perspectives. So when we look at Jupiter, if you are um, egotistical, you're going to see things grand. And you're going to think that it's only your way. All right. You're going to think it's only your way that you know the way because you're optimistic. You're happy. You might even take someone that has a great idea, um, their idea for granted because that fire in Sagittarius is the ego that needs to really step back and listen. So it's a time of just kind of like sitting back and reflecting. This here energy is not a time for us to take um, control of anything uh, or to feel that we need to control anything. It is a time to just look at situations, reflect, and let the energy pass, influence us in a positive way, and then deal with it, address it. Why? Because in situations such as, let's say like you have an example that you are dealing with someone that is Sagittarius and then you have someone that is um, Pisces, okay? Um, if that person is Pisces and they are um, working on their mystical aspirations, um, building their spiritual continuity, um, they may have some good answers for you as a, a Jupiterian or a Sagittarius, and you may take it for granted because your ego is, um, flexing. And because your ego is flexing, you're not really hearing the promise that could be coming from that Pisces energy. So you could mess up a good relationship, a good partnership, a good um, affiliation. It could even be you as an individual with Jupiter 
and um, Pisces energy in your chart that becomes oppositional to others because you're in conflict as an individual. So what do you do to overcome this? Well, I just gave you a scripture and some people, you know, they don't understand that, but I did. It says, um, pressing forward to the goal. So the goal should be the focus. The past should not be the, the, the focus. If Sagittarius is focusing on how he or she used to do things, let them focus at this time on that. If you as a um, um, Pisces see the truth, you do not have to become offensive or defensive about what you see in truth. What you should do is just go for the goal. Pray and work for the goal. Meditate and work for the goal. And it's the same with um, the Jupiterian energy, the Sagittarius that is evolved and it is not flexing in the ego. If by chance the um, Pisces is stuck in the past and you see that rather than get into conflict and opposition and uh, break up something good because they work together developing things on a normal level. Um, the, the Sagittarius and the, the Pisces, the Jupiter and Neptune, they work well together because of the creative um, um, abilities that Pisces have and um, Jupiter's ability to expand. In business, if you have the right timing, a Pisces can come in and develop a program that can take you into a new level of um, prosperity uh, with a Sagittarius um, acclimating the way. Why? Because Sagittarians are able to expand because of the energy of Jupiter. So that's a way to see how they can um, mesh and work together. You look at the small things and put the small stuff behind and you look at what you're able to do and accomplish together even to um, help to expand and uh, the world to um, futuristically push the world forward, futuristically push um, all of the people in the world forward. And that's what the perspective of all the changes the planets are making in the energies that we're receiving as downloads and they're asking us to deplete the old. For I, you know, I apprehend not the past, but I look forward and I press towards the high mark in Christ. Well, what is the high mark and what is the goal? Because Christ didn't never expect us to do anything but good for ourselves, for our families, and for um, the world. We can all say that the world needs a change, but if we just look at the energy and don't understand or to partake in changing, uh, being a part of, of changing our energy, uh, letting go of old stuff that is not productive, then what we have is uh, our affiliation with the rest of the world that is going mad. And that's not me judging. It's like, wake up, everybody. Because I can't expect you to change if I'm not going to change. Well, somebody got to step up and do it. And the energies of the universe are here encouraging us to change because each planet has its perspective on how to rebuild this earth. While it's rebuilding this earth, it needs our hands and our mind and our hearts to partake in the energies it's sending so that the world can change. All right. So if you have any questions, you can always um, email me uh, at ifwbuilders at gmail.com. And you can subscribe on YouTube. I do um, have a friend um, or a colleague associate this on uh, YouTube and I work with her. You can look her up, Kamoi Knight, um, for your inner voice. And um, I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, concerning this Jupiter and Neptune energy. Okay? God bless you. Bye-bye.